Okay, okay. I'm gonna call now. Oh, I can't do it. Don't worry, Ralphie. You've got nothing to lose by asking him. You're right. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Krusty! We'll defeat this panicking pie machine in no time! There, there! Mmm, peachy! Ha-ha! Yellow, Captain Monsterific speaking! Uh, hello? Um, hi, Mr. Captain, sir. Uh, I, uh, my name is Rolfie, and I'm a student at Monsterville Academy. As, uh, an assignment, we have to do an apprenticeship. And I'm wondering if you would be my mentor. I'm quite flattered you'd consider me, but as one of the premier superheroes in Monsterville, I don't have much time on my hands. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I'd be like an assistant. I could use one of those. Can you tell me the most important skill a superhero needs? Um, superness? Maybe they can help us. What's the most important skill for a superhero to have? Superness. Flying. Focus. If you'll give me a chance, sir, I'll prove I'm focused enough. How about you write me an essay on the history of superheroes in Monsterville? If you can focus long enough to make it through that, then we'll talk. Ha! With relish, sir. Gotta go now, but uh, thanks for calling, kid. Being a superhero, it's, it's no piece of pie. There have been over 300 superheroes in Monsterville. Why did I tell everyone I was going to be the captain's apprentice? What if we come up with focus tools? Tricks to help us concentrate. It'll help you finish the essay and prove yourself to the captain. Great idea! Except, I'm not sure I even understand why focusing is so important. Why do you think it's important to focus? Focusing helps us do things better and faster. Focusing helps us get more sleep. <sighs> I think you've got it. Focusing helps us do things better and faster. That's why it's so important for superheroes. Actually, that seems important for, well... Everyone! Let's do this! So, where do we start? Well, why do you think it's so hard for you to focus? I guess I get distracted a lot. Where do you think those pesky distractions come from? Inside our brains. From the outside world. Both. Learning to identify and avoid distractions seems like the first step in learning to focus. Oh my goblins! The distractions are everywhere! What often distracts you? Toys or games? Friends or family? My own thoughts. Let's ditch these distractions! What should we do with our tablets, phones, and other devices? Keep them on the table. Turn them off and put them in the other room. We all have trouble focusing sometimes, but if we get rid of distractions before we get started, we'll be setting ourselves up for success. Next time you have trouble focusing, try cleaning off your desk and putting away your devices. Bring on the focus! This is his favorite coffee shop. Let's blend in and keep a lookout. Oh, 
Oh, there he is! Excuse me, Captain? I have the essay you requested. Wow! That is quite an essay! How did you manage to focus that long? We taught ourselves a focus tool. Do you remember what our last focus tool was? Dancing fractions. Ditching distractions. Fabulous! I'll try it while I'm reading this. And then can I be your apprentice? You'll be one step closer. Oh boy, get a run. Busy day of speeches and handshaking ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm just gonna keep the wagon, okay? All right, thank you. That's terrific. So, uh, are you gonna be a superhero's apprentice? Uh, like you said? Um... All right, class. Time for your math workbooks. Do you think the captain is reading my essay right now? Shh! What if I use too many exclamation points? Is everything all right? I can't focus. I know just the tool for that. The brain's job is to think, but sometimes our own thoughts can be distracting. What kind of thoughts distract you when you're trying to focus on your schoolwork? Doubts about my abilities. Worries about future tests. Silly thoughts about random things. Me too! Our brains are wonderful tools, but sometimes all kinds of thoughts pop up and make it hard to focus. I get really frustrated with myself for getting distracted, but that makes me even more distracted. Focus tool number two, the gentle breeze, can help. Ready? We're going to take 10 deep, slow breaths. Focus on feeling the breaths go in and out. If a thought pops into your head and distracts you, imagine a gentle breeze blows by, turning your thoughts and feelings into dust and carrying them far, far away. Then return your focus to your breathing. Now we'll try it together. So close your eyes and let's begin. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let one last breath of breeze carry away any stray thoughts and slowly open your eyes. So, what did you all notice? Talk or think about what kinds of feelings or thoughts you experienced during the exercise. It's okay to feel bored, silly, or anything really. The important thing is to try to focus on your breathing during this simple meditation. Scientists studying the brain have learned that doing meditation exercises often can help you improve your focus. I still have a burning desire to know what the captain thinks of my essay. <sighs> but I do feel a lot more focused now. Try the gentle breeze next time you're doing homework and let us know how it goes. Your essay showed that you have basic focus skills. So I have decided to give you three tests. If I pass them, do I get to be your apprentice? Mm-hmm. You see, a superhero must be able to focus in challenging situations. But isn't it easy to focus when you're doing fun superhero stuff? It's not always fun. 
Sometimes you spend five hours waiting for a bad guy to come back to his car. I mean, the waiting is painfully boring. Distractions and temptations try to steal your attention, but you can't lose focus lest he escape. And then you realize he just lent the car to his grandma to do her groceries. I guess superheroes have to focus even when they're bored. Exactly! So, what's something you guys get really bored doing? Talk or think about a task you have a hard time focusing on because you think it's boring. Take as long as you like, and when you're ready, click next. I totally understand. Sophia and I are responsible for weeding the garden this month. It's fun at first, but then we get bored and it's hard to do a good job. Uh, okay, uh, what if we make the weeding uh, your first test? Huh? We'll prove our focus skills are strong enough to beat boredom. Whoa! Hey, guys, come check this out. Sorry, Arjun. Maybe later. I feel bored already. Time to board the struggle bus. No pun intended. Ugh, this feels pointless. Weeding has nothing to do with being a superhero. But what if it did? We could see this as a step toward our goals. How? My goal right now is to be a good friend. I can do that by helping you. Remembering my goal makes it much easier to focus. <gasps> Thanks, Sophia. You're awesome. What about you? What's something you want to do or be that's really important to you? Talk or think about how the boring task you thought of earlier can help you achieve one of your goals. Great thinking! What about you, Ralphie? I want to be the captain's apprentice. If I focus on weeding, I'll pass the captain's test and be one step closer to my goal. That's right! But how do I keep my goal in mind to stay motivated? Maybe with the focus song! Ready? How do we keep our minds focused on what we want when they keep wandering on? It's got another boring task, I really don't want to do this. Tell me again why we can't just stop. Because we set ourselves a goal, and yeah, our progress might be slow. But every step we take gets us that much closer to where we want to go. So keep that goal in your mind to stay focused. Congratulations on passing the first test! How did you beat your boredom to stay focused? We used a focus song to see our task as a step toward our goal. 
Why, that sounds monsterifically motivational. I'll have to try that myself sometime. If you were a superhero, what super gadget would you want? A jetpack! Great choice. For your second test, let's have you build one. No problem, Captain. <laughs> Oh boy, you're right, Julius. Sorry, guys. Gotta run to another speech. I am way overscheduled. How are we gonna build a jetpack? Well, I'll be doing my apprenticeship with Miss Torquato the engineer. Maybe she can help. We've been working on this forever. There's gotta be a way to make the parachute work. What if we play Incredimonster Madness Volume 2 to get ideas? I think you guys need a break. Focus tool number five is take a break. Ready? Scientists have learned that taking breaks helps you improve your focus. You should try to take a 10 minute break every 30 to 60 minutes. Do all breaks help you improve your focus? Let's see if you can figure out what kinds of breaks help the most. What kind of break should we take? Do a mindfulness exercise. Play video games. Video games keep your brain very active and don't help it recharge. But mindfulness exercises do. When you're comfy, press start and follow along with us. Close your eyes and let's begin. Start by breathing in. Then breathing out. Keep breathing deeply and start to pay attention to your belly. How does it feel? Can you feel it rise and fall as you breathe in and out? Does it feel hot or cold? It's also fine if you don't feel much at all. Just breathe and let yourself be calm, resting your attention in your belly. If you get distracted or start to feel antsy, that's okay. Just try to gently bring your attention back to your belly as you continue breathing. Now focus on your chest. Does it feel tight or open? If it feels tight, try to imagine it softening a little with each breath. Now float your attention into your head. How does it feel? Whatever you feel, it's okay. To finish, feel your whole body with your mind. Stay here for as long as you like, feeling yourself breathe. When you're ready, open your eyes to continue. Set a timer so you know when your break is over. My brain feels so alive! Begin test 301. Whoa! Oh. We're never gonna get the parachute to work. Let's skip our break and keep trying. It's better if you don't. How come, Mr. Quato? It's okay sometimes, but if you don't take breaks, your brain gets tired and it doesn't work as well. What kind of break should we take now? Go outside and play. Drink a soda and eat candy. Begin test 607. so much progress. If we focus a little longer, we'll crack this. If I focus any longer, I think my brain will crack. Try taking a break. 
Eek. But don't we have to focus to solve the problem? And it's not time for a break yet. That's okay. When you relax and let your mind explore, special activity happens in your brain. Neurons in your brain connect in ways that help you improve your creativity, planning, and ability to work towards your dream. What kind of break should we take to let our minds explore? Lie down and close our eyes for a 10-minute rest. Watch videos for 10 minutes. When you use devices, it fills your brain with new information. But when you rest, your brain can relax and explore what you've already learned, which helps you solve problems. What if we use an accelerometer? We could program the parachute to open when it goes into free fall. Behold the power of a simple rest. Test 700 for the win. Thanks, Sophia. Thanks so much, Miss Tarkawatu. Next time you can't focus, try a 10-minute break. Talk to a parent to find a healthy break that works for you. Keep that goal in your mind. Stay focused. Stay focused. Hi, Captain. Check out the jetpack Sophia and I built. Great goblins, Ralphie. You passed the second test. Congratulations. It's Sophia! Let's monster timer! Whoa. Oh, sorry! Screens are so distracting. It can sometimes feel like we're fighting with every fiber of our being to stay in control of our attention. I guess I need to work on that. <laughs> so, um, what's my next test? For your third and final test, you must resolve a conflict. Yes, sir! Gotta go, but remember, don't let your screen control you! What about you? Talk or think about the screens you use. Is there a tablet or video game you love playing with so much it's hard to stop? I understand. Let's work together to focus on this mission! Hey, guys! Sophia? Arjun? Guys? Oh... Are they controlling their screens or being controlled by them? What? Oh, hey there, buddy. You look like you need some hot chocolate. What's up? Thanks, Uncle Abobra. Um, how come screens are so powerful that they suck up all our attention? Why do you think screens are good at holding our attention? They're built to create habits for our brains. They have magic powers that capture our focus. Screens aren't magical, but they sure are fun. The folks who made them studied how our brains work and created special tricks to get us hooked. Since I'm hooked, I'll use my screen to explain. There are three main tricks. The bright lights and colors, which make it really fun to look at. Autoplay, which ensures the fun videos keep playing. And something scientists call random rewards. Ooh, ooh. It turns out that if you give someone different rewards at different times for doing the same thing, they'll do that thing a lot more. Let's look at my Monstergram post. Maybe I got some likes. Uh, didn't you just look at that? Huh? You're right. The random rewards got me. Whenever we do anything rewarding, whether it's seeing friends, eating food, or playing on a screen, our brain makes something called dopamine, which tells us, do this more! <laughs> so what's the problem? The problem is that when we're on a screen, we never know when we'll get the next prize, message, or like. They're random rewards for the brain, so it makes lots of dopamine to keep you working to get them. Which makes it hard to stop. Exactly! And what happens when screen time must end? Talk or think about how you react when your parents ask you to end your screen time. That totally makes sense. 
I tend to throw embarrassing tantrums. Why does that happen? When you stop using your screen, the dopamine levels in your brain drop suddenly, which can cause big emotions. When you're a kid, your brain doesn't have as much practice handling the change, so that's why you freak out sometimes. I definitely need to practice. Don't be too hard on yourself. Screens are built to capture our attention for as long as possible, but we don't have to let them. Let's invent focus tool number six, screen solutions. Pick any tool you think might help you put down your screen and focus on something else without a struggle. Set a timer to limit the amount you use your screen. Plan something fun to do right afterwards. Do breathing exercises right after to calm down. Turn off autoplay. Get rid of colors by turning your screen to grayscale. I guess screens can be helpful if we use them to build good habits, but they can also cause bad habits. Hey, give that back! You've had it forever, Sophia. <laughs> Whoa! Not cool, guys. Very not cool. Sorry, Mr. Abobra, but he started it. Oh, pretty. Oh, guys, the screen is using tricks to get our brains hooked. Then our emotions get confused and we lose focus on what's important, like the fact that you're friends and friends aren't mean to each other. But, but I'm he's just so annoying. Her. I understand. Uncle Obobra, can you teach us a breathing exercise to help calm these big emotions? Focus tool number seven, the dopamine drop defense. Anytime I have big emotions, especially when I'm having trouble putting away my screen, I put the screen down, turn it off, and take three slow breaths. Let's all try it together. Close your eyes and follow along with us. Breathe in. Two, three, hold. Breathe out. Two, three, four. In. Two, three, hold. Out. Two, three, four. In. Two, three, hold. Out. Two, three, four. This helps me pause long enough to remember what I really want to focus on. I'm so sorry, Sophia. I'm sorry too, Arjun. Thanks so much, guys. No problemo, but just in case. Great job with that conflict. The captain will be impressed. Understanding how screen time affects us helps us control our attention. That's right. Next time you have some big emotions, try the dopamine drop defense and see if it helps. Is the captain going to be your mentor, Rolfie? Well, I passed all his tests, but now he's disappeared. Hmm, can you think of another superhero who could help you find him? Incredible! Monster! She's always seen at the bakery after school! Come on! It's amazing they haven't figured me out yet. But hey, I like cupcakes. The captain and I are good friends. But before I help you find him, you must tell me when you're upset. Is it harder or easier to focus on the things you're supposed to do, like homework, chores, or other duties? Easier to focus, harder to focus. If that's what's happening to the captain, he may need our help. Oh no! Oh, Ralphie's finally gonna see what a fraud I am. Hey, dude. Sorry for barging in on you, but are you okay? Did I do something wrong? Is that why you don't want to be my mentor? Oh, goblins, Ralphie. I'm so sorry. I just... I don't know if I can do this. 
Seeing how focused you and Sophia have become made me realize how unfocused I am. Superheroes are supposed to help people, right? I mean, what do I do? I give speeches. I practice my autograph and model for ice sculpture contests. I've gotten so distracted by how good it feels to be famous that I can't even remember the last time I actually helped somebody. I don't deserve to be your mentor because I've lost my focus in life. It's okay. We all lose focus sometimes, right? What's something important you lost focus on recently? Homework. Helping a classmate. Something else? Just like how a hug helps us calm down, scientists found that there are certain pressure points on our bodies that we can press to help ourselves relax. So let's all check in with our bodies. When you really think about the thing you lost focus on, how does it make your body feel? My chest gets tight. My tummy hurts. Something else? Before we start, go wash your hands because you'll need to touch your face. First, you will tap on the side of your hand with all your fingers and create your setup sentence. Repeat after me. Even though I lost focus on, say the thing you lost focus on that you thought of earlier. I'm still a good kid and I choose to feel calm. Now tap like I do and say this sentence out loud three times with me. Even though I lost focus on, I'm still a good kid and I choose to feel calm. Even though I lost focus on, I'm still a good kid and I choose to feel calm even though I lost focus on. I'm still a good kid, and I choose to feel calm. Wow! How come this feels like it's working? Scientists have learned that stress caused by uncomfortable emotions blocks the part of your brain that you use to focus. They also learned that tapping lowers the amount of stress in your brain, and that's why it works. Now, think of a short reminder word or phrase for the thing you lost focus on. It can be simple like homework or being patient. Nice! Mine will be helping people. So follow along with us and say that phrase in your head as you tap on these points. On the inside of the eyebrow above your nose. The side of your eye under your eye, under your nose, under your lip, right under your collarbone, the sides of your body by your shoulder blades, and last, the top of your head. I feel so much better. How does your body feel? Are your feelings still big, or are they smaller and calmer now? Nice work! When you do it at home, try three rounds to feel really calm. It'll be easier to refocus. Thank you. I think I know the first step to refocus my life. I've got a lot to learn about being a superhero, but I'd be honored to be your mentor. We can learn to help people together. We live in a distracting world. But sometimes, the toughest distractions are our own big emotions. <gasps> yeah. The more we learn to gently calm ourselves and direct our attention, the more we can accomplish in life. That's why practicing your focus keeps you working toward your dreams.